JavaScript, using objects instead of if or switch. Let's add a function named get explanation. This function will work with a parameter named item. Let's add an object named explanations. This object is composed of key value pairs. We will select one of these data based on the item parameter. The item parameter will be compared with the keys and the corresponding value will be returned. The or operator returns the first truthy value. If the first value is undefined, it will return no explanation. Let's define a variable named explanation and store the result returned from the function in it. Then, let's print the value of it. Let's try different values and observe the results. Our function is working as intended. We have managed to add a conditional statement without using if else or switch case statements. JavaScript. Make a sentence from separate strings. Let's add four separate strings. We can use string concatenation using the plus sign. We can use template literals or alternatively referred to as string interpolation. Or we can use string concatenation with concat method. Now, let's print all of them on the screen. We successfully concatenated the strings. Please take a look at the comments. JavaScript. Showing button base messages. The final result of what we are going to do is this. Let's add our buttons to use with our JavaScript code. The added buttons appear in the center because the CSS part sets text align center for the body. When we click on these buttons, the results will appear in a single paragraph. Let's open the script tags and write our JavaScript code. Select all button elements with an ID attribute and store them in a variable. We loop through all buttons, assigning the show explanation function to their click events. Let's write show explanation. We will get explanations using button IDs and we will write this explanation to the content of the paragraph. Let's write get explanation. The get explanation function has an object with key value pairs where each key matches a button ID. If no match is found, it will display no explanation. Yes, our code is working. JavaScript, seven string methods. Let's write a text to work on. We will use the Quokka.js extension to display the results on the screen. Let's convert all to uppercase. All to lowercase. Second character of the text is S. First character of the text is I. Let's check from which index a word begins. Let's check another one. And another. Let's replace one word with another. Let's replace one character with another. The replace method changes only one occurrence. If we want to replace all occurrences, we use replace all. JavaScript typewriter effect. How to make a typewriter effect like this? Let's add a division with the ID output. Let's open our script tags and write our JavaScript code inside. Let's write our text that will appear on the screen. We are using the plus sign to write the text on separate lines to save space on the screen. In reality, JavaScript will consider this text as a single line. We will print the letters one by one. The index of the first letter is zero. Let's add a function called type text. We will perform our actions within this function. The function will run as long as the index number is less than the length of the text. And with each iteration, a character will be added to the content of the output division element. And we will increment the index number each time. Call the typewriter function after 50 milliseconds. Of course, we need to initially call the typewriter function once.